Hi there, Jordan Crook here from MobileBurn.com and today I have in front of me the newest version of the TweetDeck for iPhone application. Um, just so you guys know, if you're already TweetDeck fans, this application was built from scratch, so if you already have TweetDeck on your phone, go ahead and uninstall it and then reinstall version 2.0 from the Apple App Store. For those of you who are not familiar with TweetDeck, basically what this application does is it combines your Twitter feed with your Facebook uh, information and your Facebook account and brings both together. So as you see when I scroll through here on my Twitter feed, I actually have some uh, gray posts as well as some blue posts. Those gray posts come from Twitter and those are different tweets and messages. And then the blue ones come from Facebook. So if I swipe to the right here, you can see that uh, this application comes pre-installed with three different columns. So I can, from home, I'm actually just getting my original timeline, my Twitter feed, and my Facebook news feed just thrown together. If I swipe over here to this middle column, it's called Me. And inside of the Me column, I also have options to see my at replies or any uh wall comments that have been made on my Facebook wall, anything that's been liked on my Facebook wall, um, basically anything that's uh, with reference to me but is still public will show up in the me column. If I swipe over here one more to the right, if I can, we'll see the inbox over here. This shows me all of my direct messages, whether they're from Facebook or Twitter. So anything that's private now and with reference to me will come into the inbox column. So what's really cool about this application is you have the option to add whatever columns you want and customize them in whatever way you want. Um, and you can also have more than one Twitter account on here. I forgot to mention that. So if I have my personal and work Twitter accounts, I can add both. And then I can also add my Facebook account and merge all three. So if I want to add a new column, I just go ahead here and click the plus button on the top left hand corner and it'll bring up trends, my Twitter account, and my Facebook account. So for right now I just like to use my lists and form a dedicated column for two of my lists that kind of go together. So I'm going to add applications as um, a dedicated column all on its own. And then I can go in and edit columns by pinching down. And as you'll see when I pinch into that column it brings up a delete button. I also have um, two arrows down here at the bottom that allow me the option to switch the order of my columns and then that middle button brings up settings so as you can see when I bring up the settings it gives me the title and it also shows me where uh, which feeds I'm bringing in so I'm gonna go ahead and add another feed which is my mobile list and once I've added that in there and click done my column will feed those two lists into a single column that is dedicated on the TweetDeck application. So now I have home, me, inbox, and then to the far right over here I have those two lists put together. You also have the option to do the same thing with Facebook. So if I go ahead and click on a friend's Facebook post and go into his uh, feed there by clicking on his name, I can press the add button on the top right and I'll have an entire uh, column just dedicated to this person's Facebook wall. You can do the same thing within Twitter if I click into uh, Phone Scooper here and go over into his feed by swiping to the right. I don't know if you guys saw that. So from the column I went into the details page of the tweet and then by clicking uh, Zeman I actually am brought into his uh, Twitter account profile and then if I swipe to the right again it takes me straight into his feed. By clicking this top right button here like we've seen before it'll just automatically put uh, his timeline as a dedicated column on my application. So our customizable columns aren't only limited to people's uh, timelines or or Facebook walls or even our own lists, but we can actually go ahead and add a wall, or I'm sorry, a column that is just dedicated to trends. So I can actually search my own trends and pick one, or I can just choose a trend, click add, and I have another page there set up. So most of our actions are the same here in TweetDeck as on Twitter for desktop. We can still do all the same things uh, concerning Twitter. Uh, Facebook is a little bit different. We don't have all the same functionality clearly um, as you would inside a Facebook application or actually using it on a desktop. But just to show you guys a little bit, if we click through to a tweet 
it'll bring up our tweet details. Uh, so I have the option down here to favorite that with the star. If I click my little share button, I get the options to translate email or view it on Twitter. I have a retweet button up here on the top right as well as an at reply button. Um, so one thing that's worth noting is that this application's commands here are all dependent on whichever column that you're in. So as I show you now, if I go over here to me and click through to an at mention, I have the same options here up top to retweet and reply. And then if I go over into my inbox, my options are a little bit different. So I no longer have um, a reply button. I simply have a share button, which will email, translate, or delete the message. And then I also have this um, envelope button, which is my reply for direct messaging. So within our Facebook uh, news feeds and uh, posts, we have the same, similar style actions. Um, so we also can share and, and view on Facebook.com. If I click here on the top right, it will send me to um, my add comment option there. And I can actually post to that person's wall. And then I also have my little thumbs up here if I choose to like something. As you saw here for a glimpse there in the, in the me column, when you click on a tweet that has any form of conversation with it, if you just wait a moment, as you see down there on the bottom, it says we're still loading the conversation. Right here it's saying there was an error loading the conversation. This is the first glitch that I've seen with this application. So I'm having a feeling that we're having a little first day bugs going on here. But if I try to find another one, there we go. It brought down the conversation immediately. And you can see the entire thread for this tweet here by going up and down. So composing messages is really easy too. If I go ahead and click that top right hand button here, it will bring up my compose page. And from there we have our options to add media, uh, geotag, and then we also have this cool at uh, autofill option. So if I just want to write something directly to someone, I can go ahead and choose to add them through that little yellow bar that comes up and it just kind of um, lays out my followers for me so that I don't have to remember every single person's Twitter handle. Then if I want to add some media, I have the option to take a photo or add it from my media library. I will just go ahead and throw a picture in there. So as you can see it added here my media. I have my at reply and I can just type a little text in there just for the fun of it and press send. And I think that one thing worth noting is when I click through to a tweet and bring up the details, uh, we still have all of our favorites and retweets and stuff like that. But then when someone actually brings in a link and it clicks through, it goes to Safari. There are other applications that have their own form of showing you like link content um, without using uh, the phone's browser. But this actually brings me into Safari and that gives me the option to switch over to landscape mode. And I feel like that's really important when it comes to reading content on Twitter, especially when you're on your phone. Um, I almost try to read everything in landscape just because it's bigger and you can digest things uh, more quickly and easily. Um, as I said before, you need to uninstall your old tweet deck and reinstall this, or just install this new version. Uh, overall, this is TweetDeck version 2.0 for the iPhone, and I'm Jordan Crook for MobileBurn.com. Thanks. Bye.